So before we start, click the launch pad at the bottom of the screen, click on disk utility, and um, so you can get the dialog screen. Right, so essentially this video um, shows you how to format your external hard drive um, and also how to select your hard drive for a time machine backup. So we first click erase um, to format the whole of the external hard drive and you know also to ensure that we've got it in the right format. So for a Mac only read write, you want the Mac OS extended journal. Um, for Windows or PC and a Mac read as well, you want the XFAT or the MS-DOS FAT32. So as soon as you're done with the format type, click erase and that should start the format process. But the difference between the XFAT and the MS-DOS FAT32 is in the capability of the transfers, transfer size about 4 um, gigabytes. So, so XFAT is the preferred option for Windows because it allows the transfer size above 4 gigabytes. whilst MS-DOS doesn't. It looks like um, we've successfully erased um, the, the hard drive, which is good. So I have chosen the Mac OS Extended Journal um, because I just want, you know, this, this hard drive to be read on, on Mac alone. But for those that want the hard drives to be read on Windows and um, uh, Mac, I would suggest that, you know, the preferred option would be the XFAT. Um, that would enable your hard drive to be read on both, both type of um, systems. Um, but it's really bespoke to your requirements. So the, ne the next stage would be to, um, to go to System Preferences and select Entire Machine. Um, select um, the hard drive, which is the whole of the external hard drive um, for um, the Time Machine backup, and that should um, kick off you know, the process. So from here, um, we select the external hard drive, um, and we start backing up you know, the data on the computer um, to the ESD USB external hard drive and um, so use disk we'll click on use disk and subsequently we click replace um, the ESD USB because you know you just want you know one time machine backup um, it pretty much it pretty much backs up all the files on your computer and um, depending on you know the last time that you had a backup on your computer so if it's the first time you know that you're performing a time machine backup it could take you know quite a bit of time but if you've had if you've had a successful backup previously um it shouldn't be long so we'll just have to wait it through while it performs um the necessary backup okay um it's always advisable to you know to have a time machine backup it's really important so that you know um you can recover files um if something goes berserk on your computer okay yeah, it looks like the backup is pretty much going to be successful um, on the time machine because um, I haven't seen any glitch um, thus far. So um, if you found the content in this video quite useful, um, don't forget to hit the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you'd be first to get a notification when we get, we get more um, informative and useful videos um, um, coming in or made available. Thanks for listening. Thanks for your help. Thank you. Bye now. Bye.